Okay, gonna collect a 007 here with a real blast from this past. And uh, this is a, a little gun that I've had actually since the 1980s and uh, sort of disappeared on me. And I, I just found it the other day. And I was at the range and I, and I popped a few shots through it. And it actually wasn't bad. I was uh, watching a couple of videos yesterday about Derringers online and people were talking about how terrible the triggers are on derringers, and uh, I actually disagree. I'm in the process right now of bidding on Gunbroker on a couple of uh, other derringers because I just feel like getting some. And uh, but like I said, I was just looking through uh, one of my older safes, and I stumbled across a couple of uh, older guns, and this was one of them. So just really quickly, this is called an FIE Derringer, and FIE stands for Firearms Import Export. And this was a company that was out of Miami, Florida, that went out of business in 1990. So I don't believe they were around too long. Um, this is what you call a, a classic Saturday night special. Um, this is a, a very inexpensive gun made out of die cast metal with a chrome finish. Uh, it's a two shot 38 special. And uh, these are a couple of dummy rounds I have right here. So these are just uh, not real ammo. And uh, the way this works, just really quickly, is um, you just turn this lever on the side, and then this is the, the barrel pops open, and it's basically an under over barrel. And uh, you put round one in, and you put round two in, then you close it. Let's try that again. That has to be closed. Then you close it, and it clips into place with that little indent right there. And, uh, and that's it. Now there's three places for this hammer to go. You have down, half cock, and full cock. So hammer down is not the way to carry this because hammer down, the uh, hammer is actually resting right on the round itself. And if you were to drop this gun, um, it could be a disaster. So that's not the way to do it. The way to carry this gun is half cock which is right there. So in the half cock position, even if you pull the trigger, uh, nothing goes off. So um, if you carry this in a half cock and you have it in a decent holster, and this is actually the original holster that came with it, the Safari Land holster. It actually says 38 FIE uh, Derringer on it. And uh, again, decades old, um, but still fine. And uh, so, you know, that's a, you know, a, a pretty looking gun with a pretty uh, nice old leather holster. I love leather holsters. If you watch my channel, you'll see I'm not really a Kydex guy. Um, but, you know, that fits in there. It has a belt clip. And uh, now this is for left side carry. So at the time when I uh, used to carry this, and it was mostly as a backup gun um, when I was in kind of a dangerous uh, business, um, I would carry this as a backup gun, and uh, this would stay in my left side. So, uh, and then I would have something else on my appendix. So um, it has these imitation ivory grips on it right there, and that's it. But uh, as far as it goes, again, two shot, you know, basic, basic gun, but people talk about the trigger. The hardest part about this gun is actually pulling back the hammer into the full cock, which the F right there stands for. That's the hardest part. What people, when they shoot a Derringer, they're typically used to pulling a trigger straight back. What you sort of have to do in a Derringer is you have to push it more down. And again, these are dummy rounds, but uh, we're going to do it. So if you push it down, you'll see right there, not that hard at all. So if you're going to carry it, you'd carry it in the half cock. If you were going to actually fire it, you pull it all the way back. And again, you don't just push back, you push down on it. And if you do, you see it's very easy to shoot. Now, uh, easy is not the same as pleasant. Um, uh, shooting this, you do get a little bit of a, uh, you know, a little bit of a hurt hand. So there's a lot of recoil on this, uh, on a 38 Special with this, um, you know, little tiny gun. And then right here, you just have this little extractor. So um, you just push that right there. And, and that's it. So just a, a quick look, again, blast from the past, you know, just an older gun that uh, served me well when I needed it, uh, you know, back in the day. But uh, I still think it's an attractive gun. But uh, right now I'm looking for, like I said, a couple of other Derringers, either in 22 or 380s, uh, just because. And uh, that's it. So thanks very much for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Take care.